Okay, since we're live, hello everybody. Um, I am hoping that the sound and video are going to be okay. I'm running off of my laptop uh, here. Uh, this is uh, this week's edition of Learning Space. Uh, we are a weekly Google Hangout on Air and podcast about uh, science education, astronomy outreach, all topics related to that. Um, I am right here at Whiteside Middle School. Uh, we are doing our week-long teacher workshop for Investigate. Uh, let me find the cover of the binder here. Investigate, cleverly spelled to make a pun. Yeah. Because it is in part, large part, about the exploration of the asteroid Vesta. So here's Investigate. Uh, this is a unit from CosmoQuest. It is geared towards uh, middle school classrooms, and so we're doing a teacher workshop. We have 20 teachers over in the next room who are currently doing a laboratory activity from this unit. Uh, if you go to CosmoQuest.org, go to Educator Zone up at the top, um, or Educate and Educator Zone, uh, that'll take you to the part of the website where all of our teacher lesson plans are. So this one in particular is, let me open up the Q&A app. I'm like talking and doing things live, and all the things. Um, so if you go to the Educator Zone on CosmoQuest, that's where we have our, all of our teacher materials. Uh, Terra Luna is the one that uh, lines up with the Moon Mappers project. Um, <clears throat> Investigate aligns with the Asteroid Mappers project, and so we talk a lot about Vesta. We talk a lot about the Dawn spacecraft. Um, I've been doing little uh, mini lectures, content mini lectures for the teachers this week. Uh, I will be hosting. Um, all of the slides and notes from those talks um, from this week uh, on the website for Investigate. So you see we have a week-long workshop, five-day workshop going on right now. Investigate is a unit that is a 13-day unit. You don't have to do all of the activities in it. You can do some of the activities. You can do all of it. Depends on how much you want, um, how much space science you have time for. Uh, and they're aligned to the next generation science standards and the Project 2061 benchmarks so that you can hit your standards and benchmarks for your science class as you're going along. And then actually use asteroid mappers from CosmoQuest for citizen science. Sorry, I keep getting distracted by what's going on in the lab. Uh, I have a hello, so you guys can use the Q&A app. Um, so go, if you're watching this on YouTube or on Google+, Plus, there's a little thing that says join the conversation. That'll open up the Q&A app. You can say hello. You can ask questions. Uh, I see we have a hello from Nancy, Nancy Graziano in New Jersey. Hi. Um, I know the teachers uh, were, were kind of sad that this showtime, as we were trying to um, coordinate an international audience, and yes, it is too early for most teachers in the U.S., uh, to watch live, but we are glad if you're watching this after the fact or watching the podcast. Um, if you are or listening to the podcast, if you're listening to the podcast, I'm going to be showing some pictures and video and some live. Uh, I'm going to walk around with my laptop into the lab and just be like, hey guys, you're on the internet. Um, some live images I will be posting about this on the Educator Zone blog uh, so you can see pictures and video from this workshop showing some of the different activities. Uh, what we've done so far, let me pull up some pictures to screen share. What we've done so far are activities um, involving asteroids, involving craters, and right now they're doing an engineering activity. And before they finish up, actually, I think I'm going to start with the live view. So I'm going to mute myself really quickly while I announce that the internet is walking into their lab. Um, they've all they've all graciously signed release forms for their photo and video to be used, but uh, I know some of them are a little nervous about appearing on camera live. So I'm going to mute myself. Um, while I head over there uh, and get us started. So hang on just one second. You guys can use the Q&A app to ask questions. Uh, talk amongst yourselves as well. Say hi to each other uh, and send us comments and questions as we go along. So again, if you're just joining us, I'm Nicole Gallucci. Uh, we're at the, live at the Investigate Teacher Workshop with CosmoQuest, a week-long workshop. And I'm going to go uh, ambush all the teachers who are in the lab working on an engineering activity. So hang on. I'm going to move over there. Be right back. Actually, I realized I have an actual Be Right Back image that I should use <laughs> to kind of be. Where is it? I hear cheering. I think they're doing well. 
Where's the logos? Be right back. Be right back. I can't find it. All right, I'm going to mute. Okay, it's very loud in here. I heard her. I'm your witness. They are building spacecraft to land. Oh, wait, 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 I'm just showing you. Here's Vesta. Be nice or I'll turn 40. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here's the space. Oh my gosh, it has a flag. Yes, it does. Hold it up. There we go. It's not, we live in America. America. Oh, wow. America. Oh my god. I hope you heard that. It's my ion thrusters work. <laughs> so here's our group dispersing. <laughs> oh, you know what? I hope you guys haven't all run away. Still we still have our viewers. Oh, oh hang on. Do you mind? Oh no 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 no. You have to say that you're okay. Above the mask. I don't know. Are you going to try to pan this time, Nicole? Okay. Those are those buckets. There was a mathematical equation to figure that out. Oh, that's right. Oh! Oh! oh. Table. Okay. So Can I see your design? We're being on the turntable. I see your design. This is a different spacecraft that was engineered. Right. <laughs> and you must have modeled this yet to the There you go. Yes. Viking. While we're here, I'll show you some of the impact craters we had earlier.
connection. I'm just getting it back now. Eric, come here. Talk to the internet. <laughs> All right, we're back. We just lost connection while we're in there. Here comes Ellen, one of our uh, facilitators. Oh, we've got the window behind us. It's terrible. Oh, you've got backlighting. So Ellen's here. There Hi. So Ellen, who has been on several episodes of Learning Space before. I have. Um, so we are, here we go, <laughs> two of the facilitators of the Investigate Workshop. Uh, so I think you guys got a good view of what was happening, even if you couldn't hear much. Um, they were building... I think they were given certain materials, but not told how to build the spacecraft? That is correct. They were given materials, not told how to build the spacecraft, and there are other materials that they are allowed to purchase, mm. and the purchasing amounts to a point, or, or, or depends on how much they purchase, could be one point for a washer, one point for a, um, a, a rubber band, and so on. Okay. And then they have uh, to design the lander, and they have, uh, we have an old phonograph, imagine that I found one. Ah! And there's that a target on there that, that says we have. Vesta. It says Vesta. And they have to hold it above the meter stick and then try to hit the target. And um, our first group did hit the target I the know, first time. I know, we missed it. I didn't and, get it on and video. And sadly, you missed it. I know. The second group, um, so they do get the full 10 points. The second group has... Um, uh, did not make it, and they have gone back to a redesign, and they're and then they are uh, copying in their journal what their modifications are going to be, and then they can come back and try to land on Vesta. We have five groups. We have five very different landers that are being developed. So this is the first of our engineering activities for this particular unit, and the teachers are just really excited. We are a little rowdy. Uh, you know, if, uh, <laughs> we were just uh, saying this is a very energetic group that it, we have this year. It 20 is, of them, too. There are 20 of them, and there probably could have been more if we had you know, advertised even more because had um, more and had funding. more funding. <laughs> and so they are already saying, well, what are you doing next year? And um, we don't know. We don't so, know. Um, uh, so anybody who would like to donate, that's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> plug for CosmoQuest, donate to CosmoQuest. Very big plug for CosmoQuest, yeah. which is an awesome Because our, our funding uh, for this particular grant does run out at the end of December, as we were just discussing. Yes, we so, were just discussing. so we don't know if there'll be another workshop next year, but we, we hope so, because Terra Luna was a success, and Investigate was a success, that, or is a success this week. Yes, um, and in fact, uh, many people are asking who did not make Terra Luna last year, because they didn't know about it, if we would do it again. And I brought my binder in, and they're looking through the activities. So that's exciting, too. Yeah. yeah. You know, the word is out. All right. <laughs> Space so. science. Yay. There you go. Awesome. Thank you, Ellen. You're welcome. I have uh, to go back to the engineering design. Yes. Go, <laughs> go engineer. Um, I have some pictures of the activities we've been doing the first couple days that I can show you guys. Um, oh, it disappeared again. Uh, so I've been taking pictures and video, and like I said, I will be blogging about some of these activities as we go along. Um, I hope you got a view. There was a quick view of um, the uh, craters they were making. Instead of doing the flour and cocoa powder that we usually do, we had um, a plaster of Paris covered in cocoa powder, and so that makes a, a type of crater that you could actually preserve and show in the future. Uh, so here's where we started by talking about the formation of the solar system. And here's an activity uh, demonstrating how accretion works, um, in, in a way, how accretion works using a pie plate and a bunch of uh, ball bearings, some of which <laughs> we borrowed from the school. They graciously lent us ball bearings from something. Yes, the successful team. We're successful. It's very excited. And starting screen share if I can. Uh, so then they have these ball bearings and a pie plate, and they drop in a magnetized marble, and that is supposed to simulate the electrostatic forces that and, and gravity that cause things to accumulate or accrete uh, in the early solar system. And so that was a, a very simple, less messy activity that we did on the first day. Um, got some other pictures. I particularly enjoyed. Um, one we did yesterday involving water balloons. Um, you use flour and water balloons, and um, you put tiny little rocks in there. So we had some little, like like uh, like little tiny aquarium rocks. We had some that were brown, and thus harder to find outside where we did this. 
and some that were neon colored, which eh, made it a little bit easier, but not that much easier. We had uh, flower and water in a balloon, so the flower and water would show the ejective pattern from the splat of our meteorite. Uh, so this is us filling up the water balloons uh, carefully. In fact, no guts, no glory actually got tweeted yesterday because <laughs> somebody wanted we wanted to turn the, the sink full up. And here are some trying to get some pictures of the impacts themselves. So we actually had a step ladder. Oh, that's a I'll show that later. We actually had a step ladder. People could go high up and toss their water balloon at the ground and make a splat. Um, here's a splat. Screen share. Splat. So here's a, an example. Splat. The water balloon goes splat. There's flour and water everywhere. And then they had to try and they had counted how many rocks they put in to start with and had to count how many rocks they could find. Um, which was uh, amusing because I think I only found about half of my tiny little meteorites. It's demonstrating how hard it is to actually find samples of meteorites from a fall. Uh, shout out to Jeff Nockin of Meteorite Hunters because he does this all the time. And so they did it over different um, landscapes. And so some did it in the parking lot, some did it on the sidewalk. My favorite group did it in the grass. So here is the grass group desperately trying to find their meteorite pieces. <laughs> we got funny looks from kids leaving the school uh, and, and some parents picking up their children from the school as we were crawling around on the grass trying to find these meteorite pieces. Uh, hang on, this room's starting to fill up, so I might um, scoot over. We've got half in the classroom and half in the lab now, so it's a little hard to find a quiet place. We've got the classroom um, where we do our, uh, we talk about content, we do some of our simpler activities, uh, and then we do the messier activities here in the lab. And you see this is a really cool classroom setup. Uh, Ellen Riley used to teach in this room. She's retired now. Um, and so the lab setup and the, I'll take an empty table. The lab and the classroom are right next to each other, so they can easily go between the science lab and the science classroom. So they're actually arguing over points back there, is what I've been told. They're arguing over <laughs> how many points the groups got, whether or not they hit Vesta, landed on Vesta, stayed on Vesta on the turntable as it was going around. And then after this, um, in addition to actually doing the activities and talking about the content, um, Kathy Costello is spending a lot of time going over the standards, the next generation science standards. In particular, today will be the engineering science, engineering standards that are covered in the investigate unit because we're treating STEM as a whole, the science, the technology, the engineering, and the math all together. So I'm going to, I think we should go visit them again and see their activity as it's happening. I hope you're not getting too <laughs> Yeah, we have some other kind of curiosity. You can't even go. Yeah, you're pretty much. The timing is. Yep. That's the point. That's why it's on the sheet. That was a hit. That was a hit. Excuse me. Excuse me. Where is it? There it is. Successful hit on Vesta.
Uh, it's going. Oh, there you go. You're, you're, on, <laughs> okay. you're on the internet. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't get the actual drop. <laughs> no, no, we shouldn't do it again. It was perfect the first time. So we have some successful engineers. They'll be doing engineering tasks the next couple of days. Uh, after you land on Vesta, you then have to mine Vesta. Uh, and then you have to uh, take off from Vesta with your material. So those are three different engineering tasks that are built into the unit. So you can do that over the course of a few days. Uh, again, this is the Investigate unit from CosmoQuest. So if you go to CosmoQuest and hit Educate up at the top bar, go to the Educator Zone. That shows you all of our teacher materials and Investigate. Uh, it is not spells like the word investigate. It actually has the word Vesta, the name of the asteroid in it. Am I supposed to say this? Yes. Teacher voice. Andrew Lander, local around the shelves, head to the classroom. Okay, they're heading into the classroom now to talk about uh, the standards and to break down the activity. Uh, so this is investigate. Again, the investigate teacher workshop with CosmoQuest. I'm going to pop over the Q&A app because it closed the last time I lost. Connection. Uh, say hi to the internet. Hi, Internet. <laughs> um, you definitely need to take this class. It's a lot of fun. Yay, thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and do you want to show your necklace? Oh, yeah. Bring your Orion necklace again. OK, I have okay. to show you my necklace. Oh, well, you all can see that. I can't. It's, got, it's, uh, it's got little holes in it. It's the Orion constellation. It's the constellation. <laughs> uh, it's a really cool necklace. It's my favorite. Um, Constellation. Get excited by astronomy jewelry. Yeah. So we have uh, hellos from Nancy. Looks and sounds like everyone's having a blast. Hugo Burnham, rowdy and energetic. And looking at Vesta. Yeah. Adam says hello from the UK. Hugo, says, oh yes, you lost me, but I'm back. We didn't even see Nicole move around so much at the hanging out with on. Yes, I apologize for making you guys dizzy. Um, Guido. Guido and Eric, yes, we lost my inter we lost internet here. I'm using the school Wi-Fi, which is um, a little patchy depending on where in the room you are. Um, so thank you guys all for watching. I'm glad you're enjoying the laughter and the yelling, even though <laughs> it's uh, a little distracting for watching a show or listening to the podcast. Uh, again, I'll be blogging about this on the Educator Zone on CosmoQuest. I'll be sharing pictures and video um, from the different activities. I'll probably... Um, just use some of this live video of the lander, but then I took some better video of the, um, the different meteorite impacts and crater impact activities that they were doing. So I'll share that. Um, we have um, some, uh, at one point we did try doing a, a web version of the, of the workshop. It's not quite as good to do it online as it is in person. Um, so that's why we are, are working with um, educators locally here in southern Illinois. So we have a few up from the Chicago area who came down to visit us, um, and um, are doing. Uh, we would, you know, be happy to partner with educators who might want to bring this workshop to teachers in their area. So uh, let us know. Educate at CosmoQuest.org. You can find more information about Investigate. Uh, Terra Luna is the other uh, unit that we have, full unit that we have, the full with the full workshop. And uh, Cosmic Castaways is the planetarium show plus unit that we have. Um, not really unit, it's kind of a two, three day lesson. Really great if you want to do an astronomy lesson and leave it with a, a sub, for example. If you have a sub for two or three days or a day, I'm going to leave substitute teacher with a cool astronomy activity. That's something you can do or run the educator zone. Um, looking through to see if we have any other pictures. Uh, another hands on activity involved making clay models of Vesta. They're roughly Vesta shaped. They're not exactly Vesta shaped, um, but they have different colors of clay, typically gray and white, but I think we only had yellow available. So um, yellow and white clay uh, showing, and, and, and I think there's actually an aluminum ball in the center that, that models the um, metallic core of Vesta. It's an aluminum ball in the center surrounded by clay, the, the mantle. And then bits of um, clay on the outside, which are uh, the crust or different types of um, material on the crust of Vesta. So that uh, is another activity. A lot of these activities came from uh, pre-existing NASA activities, uh, either from uh, a unit called Exploring Meteorite Mysteries or from the actual DAWN education team. Um, we use a lot of those. There are a few that we either heavily modified or um, came up with from scratch that are new to the unit. So um, 
those are all available in the unit. Uh, hi, Elad. I see a comment. Um, you, you missed the landers, unfortunately, so you, uh, you can go back and watch the... Um, the for, at one, after I finish this, you can watch it on YouTube, watch the recording, uh, as some of the teams of teachers tested their lander on a mock Vesta on a turntable. <laughs> uh, so that was pretty cool, even if it was a bit loud and rowdy. Um, like I said, we've got 20 teachers um, all really excited and asking really great questions and coming up with really great ideas and solutions and, and different things to try. Um, so this is also really a shakedown as well of some of these newer activities. Um, yes, apologize for the dizziness. Uh, I think they are, so Kathy is in the other room with them talking about um, engineering standards in the next generation science standards that we cover. I think I'm going to pop in with the camera and have everybody wave and then we'll sign off. So it'll be a, a short episode this time. I kind of figured that would be the case. Um, so again, go to cosmoquest.org slash uh, x slash educate um, that, or, or just slash educate and that'll take you to where you can try out the investigate activities for yourself. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully we can run these, these, continue to run these workshops because it is really great to get the hands-on experience. Um, having the educators, Kathy and Ellen, who came up with a lot of um, the education material as well as some of the science that I can bring to it, um, a lot of which I, I pulled from, from talking with the Dawn team on the Hangouts on Air. Uh, so we can bring a little bit of the astronomy and the education together. I'm going to go wave at the group. Shaky cam, shaky cam, shaky cam. What works, what didn't work, and let's see how that affects our solution. And then finally, at this level, when we get to the MGSS and the grades nine high school level. Bye, okay, Internet. Anyway. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye. Thanks for dropping in. Come back tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. This has been this week's Learning Space. We'll be back next week with a regular episode. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye.